What? Question for you, nigga. Shit. Dog, where's the money? Where's the, where's the pay? Yo. Welcome to Beer at the Bar. Your place for rapid fire, hip hop discussion, and of course, great beer. I am Kamal Kiddo. OT the Golden Child. Y'all know what time it is, man. Thank y'all for checking out last week's episode. Of course, we are back with a new episode. Three topics, two minutes. What we got? Topic one Offset nah. from the Migo and 21 Savage without warning. 21, 21. Produced by Metro Boom. Yes, sir. Uh, topic two. Eminem is working on a new album. Are you interested? He just dropped a new joint with Beyonce. Are you interested in a new Eminem album? Uh, topic three. Big Crit Forever is a mighty long time hey. album review. Yes, sir. What are we drinking? We are drinking uh, California Ace Pineapple Hard Cider. 5% like percent alcohol volume. Uh, they are yeah, California Cider Company, Simona County. I like Pretty it. Pretty good. Um, this is something I can definitely get the wife like to sip it. on if, if I want to not <sighs> drink beer by myself. By myself. So, yeah. Yeah, I like ciders, man. It's a tasty beverage. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tasty beverage. Let's get into our first topic, man. We're doing, um, um, we doing uh, 21 of them, right? Topic one. Uh, without warning, Offset and 21, produced by uh metro Metro moment want some more so yeah it really was without warning too because i really didn't know nothing about it really dropping um i was like okay yeah i didn't either that's how they did it you know what i'm saying um i like the album i'm gonna come right off the bat give it a seven and a half i like what they're doing for what they do i like what they're doing i agree it's good for what they're doing correct simple as that it's bumping Metro Boomin is killing all over this joint production wise. And yeah. Offset got flow. Yeah. Hella flow. 21 doing his his 21 stuff, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he gonna talk about what he talked about. He did you know better to me on uh, his album than he did on this one. And right. his first Metro Boomin joint. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um But I still like 21 though. You know what I'm saying? I like Metro more on here though compared to those because Metro, I, f- I feel as he's progressed a bit here. You know what I'm saying? Like I like Metro on here more than on that drop top WAP joint. Yeah. Okay. You know okay. I, I feel you. I feel you. Like, excuse me. A lot of that sounded the same. Yeah. Then that's These what I'm saying. These sound the same, and I'm gonna give it a seven as well. Okay. I almost really want to give it an eight, really, mm-hmm. but I think I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm gonna drop it. Just because it kind of does sound the same, it sounds better than Drop Top Wop to me. Yeah. But, but I think Offset and and Twenty One just sound better over these beats. They do. And and they just doing their thing. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, man. Ghostface Killer. Like, dope. Rap Save Me. Dope. Dope. Rick Flood Joint. Dope. Love Chopper Hate Niggas. Dope. It's really how, how, how that how that joint goes into yeah. nightmares. I, mean, I really probably like. I've been working out to this for a minute now. I really like this joint. Man. Yeah, G. Yeah, G. And I've been back hey, to it. Look, you know man. I mean? Cats be trying to hate on, hate on them and hate on newer cats, but they just in there rapping. They just having fun. No, here's the problem. They just really just really rap. They really rapping. People are watching a mile race and asking why aren't they sprinting. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to watch a sprint, you watch a 100-meter dash. You know what I'm saying? It, you can't watch a mile race and ask why they're not sprinting. They're two different races. So people are like, well, yeah, listen yeah. to this, and they have a, a method of what they think hip-hop is. And it's like, bro, it's, it's mm-hmm. you have to listen mm-hmm. to, to this for what it is. If Correct. you liked... I agree. You know what I'm saying? And that's the problem. It's I like, agree. But then again, that's all based on what people like. You know what I'm saying? It's preference. So, it is. It know. is. But it, that's the difference between, like, a rap fan and like you know what I'm saying I don't even know what to call it like you got rap purists you know what I'm saying and people that like music you they know should what I'm go saying? lay down somewhere yeah I I think okay what's our next topic topic two yeah. <laughs> um, Eminem is working on a new album are you interested let's give this two minutes and let me start real quick yeah. because I got some things to say you know what I'm saying 
Um, I like Eminem as a rapper. Uh, I just got into it with my man Oscar. What's up, Oscar? You know what I'm saying? About um, about uh, his new joint with Beyonce. And I said, man, I mean, where the drums at? You know what I'm saying? It sounds <laughs> like, sound like a ballad with raps on it. You know what I'm saying? And I like, like, this song for Eminem is therapeutic. It's very you know therapeutic. what I'm saying? Very much I so. I mean, but it's for Eminem. It's not for anybody else. Oh, his fans will love it. But go uh, certainly, his fans will love it, sure. But it's more therapeutic for him mm -hmm. than it is, like, should it be on his album? Down! Should it be on any work? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's not something that I would, I need to hear after the, my first time hearing it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Am I looking forward to an album? Yes, because it's Eminem. Yeah. But yeah. I don't, my hopes are not up high. I'm not, I wasn't a fan of Relapse. I wasn't a fan of Recovery. You know what I'm saying? His last good album to me was like Encore. I you like the one saying? that jumped to 20. I like the, Ma the Marshall Mathers LP too. The one that came out in I ain't even listened to that joint. I, was dope to all I know that was on it was Rap God. That's it. Yeah. That's all I know that was on it. But other than that, man, I'm not really like. I'm checking for him know. because I think he is the possibly the greatest lyricist, maybe like rapper, rapper. I think technically he is, man. Technic, tech, uh, like possibly, a technical yeah. rapper. Yeah, man. I think I think bar for bar, it's hard to compete with him for what he does, man. For what he does, okay. Yeah, you man. got super lyrical artists like a Lupe. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, true, but not. He's very heady, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can still Eminem digest is more, Eminem. Yeah, he's way more digestible. Eminem you know will what take what a word scheme and do that for 32 bars, yeah. like the same rhyme pattern that's tough you know what i'm saying he kicked jay-z ass too in that one song he did and i respect him for what he does you yeah. know what i'm saying i respect that he do his thing he's a legend but to me I'm, I'm looking I'm, I'm gonna check out the album when it comes out i i, I agree you know what i'm saying i so, agree yeah i agree do we leave it there yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> topic three um what's our topic three big crit forever it's a yeah, mighty get long away time. from that what's the day on I like this album, okay, man. Right. Yeah, man. Right off the back, eight and a half. I'm, I'm going to go right into it, eight and a half for me. Right I off feel the back. you, G. I feel you. Dualism. It's two albums. It really is two albums for me. It's a double disc. Yeah. First album, bumping, party, kind of tight vibe. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. Doesn't lose the content, but it's definitely more upbeat. Yeah. Second part starts with Justin Scott, which is just a soul sample. Yeah. And then the rest of the second album goes into like a very introspective, reflective, very crit, introspective. You know what I'm saying? Very introspective. Um, yeah. He pays to me tribute to a lot of his influences on here. I hear Ti. Mm. Ti's on the album. I hear Ti. I hear mm. Big Boy. I hear Andre. I hear Pimp C. I hear Bumby. It's Southern. It's so Southern. It's Southern. It's one of my favorite albums of the year right now for 2017. Mm. I don't even want to. Check out this album. I don't. Yeah, I yeah. don't have to go through the song list because I. Hey, I man. like everything yeah, almost. Yeah. I, hey. I mean, I don't know. He went hard on a couple of joints. Like honestly, I'm gonna be honest. The first time I heard it, and the first time I'm listening to it, I'm like, man, it sound dated to me. You know yep. what I'm saying? It sound real, 2005, 2007. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like these old sounding songs. You Substance know what I'm saying? Dying. Yeah. But yeah, like my sub joint. Yeah. Um, but. But the more I listen to it, the more, okay, I see your point. He's he putting it. on for the South. He's doing it intentionally. Cat's not. And it sounds good. There's nobody good. from the South that's, that's putting in work like other, like, you know what I'm saying? You got Atlanta making a major, make, yeah. making major waves. But ain't nobody sounding Southern. This is Southern. This is Southern. Exactly. G. And it's like, dang, G. And he rapping. He's rapping, That G. boy rapping. The joint with Bilal, the Robert Glasper joint. That joint hard. The Fame Mixed joint. Messages. Ooh, that Fame joint is hard, G. Bury me in gold to end out. Hey, Cats bro. Be talking to, G, it made me think, man. Cats be talking about, man, they want to see, uh, I want to see Crip on more features. Crip is not out here. Yeah. He not out here. He you know what I'm saying? He to be, dog. Everlasting. Uh, Everlasting. Like, um. They people be wanting Higher to hear. Higher calling with Jill Scott is dope. It's some dope 
joints on this album. It's funny that we're talking mostly about the Justin Scott side, though. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing about it, like, that's where he gets real introspective yeah. and, like, you know what I'm saying? People be wanting to hear J. Cole and Kendrick. I would love to hear some Kendrick uh, and Crit type stuff. Here's some bars. <laughs> we out. <laughs>